settled today. I got the Bronco here in the shop, and uh, I have been wanting to install two things for quite a while on this Bronco. One is a uh, Dynamat, the floor system. I have put this in the cargo area of the Bronco. We have a video on that. And I have also done the door panels. And I have noticed a significant difference, especially with the stereo and just the way the door sounds when you shut it. It does help with road noise. But another product I have is the Armor Light floor kit for the Bronco. Ever since I learned about this product, I was very intrigued because one thing I wanted with my Bronco was the washout floors, but I also wanted the leather interior. So when you get the leather interior, you get carpeted floors, but they make it look like you have washout floors because they give you these really nice mats. But I wanted to be able to hose it out, and Armor Light's going to let me do that. So today we're going to be working on a video to install this Dynamat and the Armor Light. It may be a little overkill, but when I found out about this, I was like, hey, I gotta go the extra mile, throw the Dynamat underneath this and do it. And you know, they're both really good products. You've heard of them before, obviously. Uh, if you ever went to high school, you, you had a stereo system, you've heard of Dynamat. So mark my words on that. The Armor Light, they're new to the Bronco world and uh, their kit is top notch and I've heard really good things about it so I'm excited to do that. got the back seats out or the front seats out I should say the back seats we gotta lift these up uh, seat belt them in place and um, you know I can kind of fit back here now so this is kind of nice um, I don't know I have to I don't usually ride back here but anyways it feels good but um, no we have to cut the carpet in three spots um, to get ready to pull out the carpet and I won't be reusing it I don't know if I can sell it to somebody or give it away but I don't know if there's any use for it but uh, we're gonna move on to the next step and we're pretty much uh, ready to clean this out hopefully I'll find some french fries uh, maybe uh, candy we'll see what happens there and uh, go from there and um, install our dynamat before we do the armalite run into is if you are just installing the Dynamat floor, uh, keep in mind you will have to cut your carpet, especially in the front or if you're really dedicated and you want to put your carpet back in, you'll probably have to remove the whole center console just to get this one little strip of carpet that runs in front of your center console out. Otherwise, if you're going to trash your carpet, I was joking and talking in the beginning video of selling the carpet. I don't think anybody's going to want it because it's a lot easier to just cut it in a few spots and uh, be done with it. But like I said, since I knew we were doing the armor light, I wanted to do the Dynamax to go the extra mile. And we we're about to lay that back down. I found a few french fries, potato chips, kids' toys, uh, pieces of suckers. So thank you, kids. And um, anyways, I don't know how all the leaves and debris got underneath the carpet, but it did. This was being off, but we're going to install these, and I will uh, let you know here in a minute. Go from there.
Gordon? Yes, sir.
right, it's been a few days since we've installed the Dynamat and the Armor Light in the floor. Uh, Armor Light in the instructions did say that their product wouldn't work with other aftermarket products, and I guess I know what they mean now. When we went to do the Dynamat, I thought for sure, since the Dynamat is very thick, uh, the fabric or the on the bottom of the Armor Light would compress a little bit. Not wasn't too worried about it. Overall, the whole install went really good, but near the end. We did have to trim a few pieces on uh, the sides here and in the back where the uh, the supports that hold up the back seat. We had to trim maybe an eighth to three sixteenths of plastic off of it because the uh, the rubber armor light floor did raise up a little higher than it probably should have. But overall, you can't really tell that we did that. I really like the product. Uh, the engineers did a great job, or designers, on both the Armalite and the Dynamat. If I had to change a couple things, I would pull out all, the whole rear seat to make things a little easier. One of the hardest things we had uh, to install was the back corners of the Armalite. Inside of here, that was very hard to get the corner of that product underneath the plastic, but overall it wasn't too bad. Uh, one thing I would suggest doing that we did do is we ran a couple wires from the back of the Bronco to the front foot well. I gave myself two or three extra foot just in case I want to run something to the back. I already got the wire ran, so that's just a little tip that uh, you guys should do if you can. But um, overall, I really like the product. I can't wait to uh, rinse this thing out and, and drain it out because the like I said, this is one thing I did want on the Bronco, but I got the leather seat, so you get the carpet, so it's kind of a trade-off, but now I got the best of both worlds, and I like it. Check out our website, mountainstometal.com. We will have Dynamat up there, um, and Armorlite. Go check out their website. Check in the, look in the uh, description of the video, and uh, once again, I'm Nick with Mountains to Metal, and I hope to see you guys on the trail. Peace.